Hello guys, welcome back to Angry Jack. Uh, today we're just going to be talking about strategies on top drives, how we're going to go ahead, how we're going to deal with top drives, and um, you know how I'm going to attempt to be bringing you videos from, from now on. Um, so, pretty much here, let's go ahead and collect some rewards. Um, I think this was some rewards from Daily Event. It says we got rank number 10. That was a complete miracle. I guess it, I guess it's Fourth of July, and everybody is drunk, and everybody forgot to log on to Top Drives and and play today. I am RQ120 now. I'm actually RQ123. I just got to 123 today, and apparently RQ120 is another tier. So I am. I am. At RQ120. I'm sorry I didn't bring you the pack opening. I figured and it was it was as uneventful as the RQ110 pack opening was. And I thought this was a all of a sudden I thought this was a pack opening, so I thought I was gonna get another slot behind that, but you don't. Alright, so what I'm pretty much gonna do for these events is I am going to bring you guys Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to be bringing you guys like things like these, just um daily events that come out and and whatnot stuff like that. So we're not going to actually do one today. I don't think unless we do. And um you know, so I'm just going to kind of be showing you guys strategy. All right. So as soon as I said it, I thought about, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring them on. So the first thing you guys are going to see right now, I guess, is some screenshots because I thought about making the video. So I'm going to show you some screenshots of throwback to the 80s of when I first went in and I, and I did um, the first round of throwback to the 80s. So I'm going to cut away, show you guys some screenshots right now of my first event, throwback to the 80s. And we're going to come back. Okay, so that was throwback to the 80s. Um, so what I've been doing around the place here, it used to show you when you first came in. Let's see. I don't know if you had to go to my cars or not. It used to show you exactly how many cars you own or you had to go to all cars. It used to tell you exactly how many cars of all the cars that they offered you own. It doesn't show you that, features in, that feature anymore. So, of course, I'm still around here, still bubbling, still mad, still angry, Jack, because I have three slots open and I'm holding 20 cars. All right. So, like I've been telling you guys, uh, or I've told you guys in a previous video, all I do every every chance I get and I, um, you know, I get up to five, five, 400 gold because it's, sometimes it's, it's impossible for me to make it to the 750. As soon as I get to four, five, four hundred gold, I have to go in and I have to purchase five new slots. Um, here, there's a few cars like the Odyssey, but I didn't have, I did had the, um, you can see it's 35 minutes left, 39 minutes left. So I decided, let me, you know what, let me show you guys the dilemma I'm going through. So I have all these cars here. The car was in my garage. I had to. I had to delete it since I this would these are duplicate cards since I got a duplicate card I deleted it um, to bring to, to to do some fusion and stuff I had a little extra money so I decided to do some fusion now I don't have any money the the Mercedes Benz this was in my garage also is another car I had to delete because I had some extra money the Porsche I think I was saving the Porsche because I usually get F-type cars, which I didn't win any today because somehow we placed a little bit higher. So I'm just going to have to sell these because I actually have this Porsche 
in my garage already and um the car again you know it's just kind of to, to keep my to keep my sanity sometimes the car is not a strong performer but it's a porsche and decided all right i'm going to i'm going to keep a porsche in my garage so so i was keeping that one for fusion for fusion but you need three cars to make a fusion so it's not going to happen today so we're going to sell this one this was a car that was in my garage and uh, if it is then it's a duplicate and i'll deal with it later but i think i had to sell it because again to make space um i'm going to sell this one here this blew it across i've come across it many times before but i decided i'm going to try to keep it this time around so how many how many slots we have we have four slots left and i calculated it this is a car another car i had in my garage i had to sell it because just to to, to make refusion space so I add this to my garage the alpha four one four five let's check this one out the filter i'm going to go to the blue cars which are rear and i think that is it right here right so we do have we do have one already all right so we're going to finish comparing da, 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 and we're going to go ahead and we have nine hours left on this one but i'm going to go ahead and sell it so because i have that that means i have a video to edit for you guys right now and so i can't be worried about having to come back to um to you know check up whether a car is um needs to get fused or whatever the case is all right so we're going to stop right there because i decided i am going to make a video for you guys i just got a pack opening just today i'll show you so they gave me five cars it's supposed to be french cars they gave me two fiats here actually three fiats you're going to see another one a lancia they gave me this here nissan patrol so i got these these five cars here one two three four five cards from a french pack opening today that was free they give you daily stuff now and and every, every once in a while they give you some good stuff so they've been keeping me on my toes as far as what's going on and these are just a few cars um that we just opened just now i'm not sure if you guys are here with me or not but we have 20 hours on that so i'm gonna let that relax we got two slots open we might want to do some fusion i have a little bit of money we don't have much but i might push it to the limit so i've just been going around bouncing around getting money and gold wherever i can doing all these little side events um i want to commend them for bringing in some of these little um events that they have going on here i'm up to up to around 25 and i um i can't go anymore um uh, starting next week i'll start showing you guys these things at least that's that's my plan anyways to start showing you guys as much of these um these rounds as possible um you know and as i do them you do get tickets so it does get a little bit frustrating sometimes you know trying to get it and do it for you guys uh, you know you, you might waste a ticket trying around and you actually don't even beat around or whatever the case is so um the video is probably running on because my videos do that for some reason some people could could talk for explain everything in five minutes and make a five minute video for some reason it takes forever so you, you guys saw the throwback to the 80s the old school um saw what rank we were i think we were we were way up there now we have lost a few races um so so here let's let's go ahead and take a look at it again we got got our tickets back um 580s car required right um let's just do a quick one for you guys real quick for the video uh, i think we we're using that we were using this we were using this i think we were using this here and I think there's one more back on this end that we were using, if I'm not mistaken. And I think I'm wrong. Yeah, I think this this was a throw a 80s car, if I'm not mistaken, right? I'm not sure <laughs> it was sitting there already. So I think yeah, 80s car. Let's just make sure that there's nothing better that we're overlooking that we could possibly use. 7.977 so it's another car and we're working on upgrading right now but she's not quite there yet so our weakest competitor right now is what 
like this car 6.581 that's what i usually use to to mark it and um you guys saw we we, we got we, the 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 first challenger was like um a computer generated challenger it was hutch bob um you know if you guys play mx hill climb you know hutch bob from mx hill climb he's live over here all right so 6.581 is our weakest car don't think we could challenge this guy here he has a 6.177 we could possibly challenge him all right so we probably want to look at his rank also zero that's kind of might be a might be a telltale it's not always true but it might be a telltale of what we could do this guy is ranked 10 but he he uh and his he has slow zero to 60s what there's a lot of carting stuff going on here and he has high 80s numbers there 3500 and his numbers aren't really impressive and then here's a number zero again the 4.488 8076 this we, we, this might be the guy let's just go ahead and grab somebody just for the sake of the video and uh, see what we could do see if we could we could make it out all right because uh, everybody has high numbers and low numbers so all right so on the twisty road one of these guys are our best car so we're going to want to save them for like let's see so like something like the twisty circuit so let's use this guy here maybe on the twisty road hmm 88 there's nowhere we're going to stand up to that guy so if we're not going to stand up to him we want to we want to we want to do what i call lose gracefully which is throw somebody at him that we could afford to take a loss and it's not going to affect us too much so it's going to either be this guy here we throw at him or this guy here but we want to make sure this he could beat somebody seven three slalom tests Twisty circuit, G force test. I'm wondering if he could if he could win the twisty circuit. If we put him on the twisty circuit, do you think we could we could win at the twisty circuit with him? I am not sure. We wanna like I said, we wanna lose gracefully. So uh, let's so let's try something. Let's show you what I'm saying. So let's let's put our worst guy there, but he has high handling. He has decent handling. So I think he was gonna do better than him there. We're gonna put him at the twisty circuit there, and I'm just gonna run run one of this because I'm gonna do the other one with you guys. And um, what I might do is do video magic, and um, pick somebody, and then um, you know, to just to show you what it's like. All right. Um, let's see. All right. So it's on the slalom. 8.576 we could beat him with anybody all right for slalom test a secret i like to use if 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 you could use multi if you have multiple choices use somebody that has um lightweight because when you have lightweight the car switches back and forth rather handsomely for lack of a better word and um you know so might want to use a lightweight car g-force um fast and grippy karting best of both worlds and we said we're going to use this let's see how we let's see how we turn out so this is the best part of the game guys just watching the cars go around the track so i'm going to actually let you guys watch this so we know we're going to lose what we're trying to do is lose within 50 points so let's see if we could do that let's see if we could keep up keep stay close enough that we don't lose by more than 50 points all right and we lost it was that was that was probably decent we lost 72 points if we if we're able to win the rest of these now you see that little the light car switching back and forth for us there all right we could stand 150 at least to let's see Okay, we got our 72 back right there. So if we lose another 50, sorry, I'm terrible with my math right now. So 50 be 122, right? If he got, if he wins another 50, which we're we're winning this one also. Not doing too bad. So this is Throwback Thursday. 
back to the 80s using 80s cars. Okay, and um, as I expected, we have a, we have a worse z we have a worse handling, but we have very uh, a, a much better zero to sixty, and I'll show you guys this. And it's a it, it's a large track, so especially on asphalt, a better a lower zero to sixty to sixty time, um, and a decent handling usually gets you to win on this one. So we got two stars on this one. Let's continue out. We only lost one. All right, so we're staying in the fight. We're now two two because they were they were racing for me offline, and usually, um, it's a piece of advice. You you wanna you you wanna choose wisely who your competitors are because you want to you want to race tracks that favor your car's condition because you, you want when when they race your cars offline i think they choose i'm not going to bother showing you guys daily event daily event is daily event all around the board pretty much um actually what i've learned from going up rqs in between is that the daily events actually they do change from one rq to the other but it's not going to do you any good if you are not rq 110 so we're going to leave that alone and um also this would be a good one for me to show you I'm going to go ahead and show you here in this video because I'm planning to throw this up to you tonight, July 5th, um, the Nissan Juke because this just came out today. We have two days to do it, so we have, I have a few days to play around with it for you guys as opposed to the throwback to um, throwback Thursday old school. That actually came out last night, July 4th. All right, so, um, so the jukebox. And again, we're just showing you strategies. Japanese cars times five and Nissan's times four. So we don't know. I'm going into this blind. All right, I know we need Nissan times four, so I'm just gonna ask for Japanese cars times five, all right? We're going to this blind. I'm gonna assume a lot, of, a lot of my Nissans, a lot of my good Nissans are SUVs. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna assume that it's, um, this is a good car, whether whether road or track. There's a good car there, so I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to assume it's um it's like a city street car, city street course. All right, so and this is a Nissan here, but let's see five. Actually, my SUV is doing better times than he is. I'm, I'm don't I'm not sure if the Infinity. Let's let's see if they're going to consider the Infinity and Nissan. Nope, the the Infinity. Even though Nissan makes Infinity, but here we go. Six point six point one eighty three. So we do have a we had um this is considered a street racer. We had that the other day. So all right, I'm going to go ahead go ahead and go in with this guys. There's five Japanese cars, and I don't think I could do much better than this. Um. In lieu of writing it down, I usually stop and write it down. And when I'm taking a competition, I'm taking competition really seriously. I usually stop and write it down, what my hand looks like. Um, so in lieu of doing that, what I usually do then is if I'm not going to write it down, I just figure out what my what my worst car is. In this case, it's going to be the Nissan Juke at 7.286. See what our upgrades look like. We could probably throw one thing on there, but you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna go we're gonna run it like it is for the sake of the video right now. What I'm also gonna do is let's see does it take? It takes, okay. What I'm also gonna do is just show you the three competitors. One, two, three. And I'm gonna pick somebody now and then show you what lineup I come up with for these three guys. Alright? So I'm gonna cut away for a sec. Okay. It is hard for me to choose today, and sometimes when it's hard for you to choose, sometimes it's best for you to just go ahead and pick the guy with the lowest points. It doesn't always mean the guy with the lowest points is going to be easier, but it's a little bit hard for me to choose, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the person with the lowest points. Now, I already know we're going to lose to this guy on the one mile, but I was hoping we could match him with our car here against his car there, which it seems like we could do that. All right, so... Next thing I have to worry about, which I might just throw up quick with you guys right now, is how we're going to actually match him up for the circuits right now. Huh. Got performance tires here. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's going to be one tough cookie, this thing is. All right, so I'm thinking go there. Uh, cause we have a chance to, 
right, so what I'm thinking is, okay, go there. As opposed to go here, we have a chance we might lose. All right. <laughs> there's a chance we might lose. There's a chance we might win. I, I just don't know. Um, but I think we have a greater chance to win if we match up there, right? So go there. We're going to win here. This is going to be tight because it is the twisty circuit. We have better performance stats, but his car just might be better overall. I think we're going to lose that. I hope, hopefully, we lose gracefully. And uh, let's hope we come up with a victory. Let's see. All right, so best part of the game, watching the cars go round and round. So this should be a clear victory. This is considered the rally cross circuit, and that was the short version of it. You have a little bit of asphalt, a little bit of dirt. All right, lower, but lower is here to 60, better handling. We have better handling, so I'm hoping we win this one clearly. All right, we have the same zero to 60, better handling. All right, this one is called the carton circuit, and I think you also have um, carting track. A little bit tighter the carton track is all right so see he's pulling out on us we have better stats as far as the corner is concerned all right but he is staying ahead of us guys on this one and so yeah, it seems he has a better power band which is what i was assuming that he had, he does have a better power band than us so even though we both 6.1 he has a better, he had a better power band. Um, lower zero to six this time. And oh, okay, and traction control did, did us in there. Okay. I'm gonna lose this one also. Hopefully not by more than 50. Okay. So we're in the lead, especially if we could take this one home. So let's see, we're, we're in the rain. But maybe I have traction control and he doesn't. And I'm much, much faster on the zero to 60. So let's see what happens. They consider this the hairpin road. So this is another version of the hairpin road. And lower zero to 60, better handling. All right. So, okay. So that's, um, that's a copy of that. Um, I might show you my struggles with this one, especially. All right. Um. Uh, and 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 who knows? Well, we'll probably put throw them both in just to to make space for video, making it a little bit easier on myself. And um, you know, so I think this video was enough, uh, long enough, long enough is what I'm saying. You know, some of you guys like vid long videos, but um, most people don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end it there. What? So what? This was just us showing you strategies, strategies of where we're gonna go forward for the videos. How I'm gonna m maybe making you guys videos. What's going on with your man, Jack in the middle? Or your man, Angry Jack, over here on, on top drives? And um, so I'm just going to quickly run through and show you my list of useless cars. <laughs> I, I try to keep every super rare car I get, which is these yellow cars, um, for just because, you know, these are some of the, the easiest good cars they are to get. So I don't crush every single one I get you know I, I just I, I go slow and keep them as much as possible and, and I'll, I'll crush the duplicates all right so my super rare cars tend to be my um my biggest hand as far as you know what I have and when I get a chance um you get you get these uh rare cars these blue cars pretty liberally so what I'm finding is if, if I'm if I try to stay diligent if I keep playing, keep my head in the game, keep playing these daily events, which I'm sorry I haven't been bringing to you guys. I wanted to be bringing them to you. Sorry I haven't been. Um, but um, my, my schedule is freed up right now, so I should be able to bring you a lot more gameplay. Um, you get some of these blue cars. And I'm keeping some duplicates of some cars. that, I, And I, and I want to keep some duplicates of some cars that I think are good cars and are worth keeping duplicates of, um, you know, because every once in a while you come across an event and there's nothing better than that car that you have. And, uh, you know, so I'm sacrificing space. So here we're down to the common cars. And, um, you know, a few of them are just my babies. 
Ford Cortina. Here's my baby. Finally got a Honda Beat. This is a car, if you get this car, guys. I, I got this car before earlier on in my gameplay. And I didn't really respect it. Some people have five of them. So if, this, is a, this is a car that's worth duplicating if you want to duplicate. But this is my little baby right here. My Ford Cortina. And um, almost maxed out. This is what we're, I'm going to max her power, power weight reduction. So th they would call this a 323 build. And um, just, my, just my baby is, is not particularly a high performing car. But you know, every once in a while... It may come in handy you know it's just a it's just, a, it's just a, a car it's just a keeper for me so i'm gonna go ahead and end it on this thank you guys for joining me man angry jack signing out all right see you guys in the next one bye bye drop them, drop them, drop them.